whenever there is any electric current whenever there is current flowing through a conductor that conductor after some time will start behaving like a dash i i repeat my sentence again listen to the sentence carefully so whenever there is any current flowing through a conductor then the conductor will start behaving like a dash magnet exactly magnet okay because of that current there are some there are some effects which are produced in that conductor okay those are magnetic effects okay so current can have two types of effects i told you first is heating effect another one is magnetic effect so heating effect we all studied in the last chapter so there are two types of effects one is magnetic effect another one is heating effect heating effect humne last chapter mein padhe the so heating effect means whenever there is current flowing through a conductor the conductor starts to starts getting heated up for example when you when you uh, let's say charge your laptop or when you charge your phone you would have seen that after some time the phone or the laptop becomes hot so that means heating effects those are heating effects here we are talking about magnetic effects isn't it so with this introduction we also studied that there are two types of magnet types means magnets are the same but the shape is different so this kind of straight uh, magnet is called as bar magnet and this type of uh, you know bent magnet is called as horseshoe magnet and i also uh, told you that every magnet will have two poles north pole and south pole fine and then we talked about so let's say uh, i have a conductor here so let's say if this is a conductor x y is a conductor and what i have done is see i have connected both the ends see this is the this is the first end where i have written x and this is y the other end of the conductor and i have connected both the ends like this to a battery so this is a battery here okay this is a key if i open the key which means if i open it then the current will stop flowing because the circuit will open when i close the key so this dot in the center shows that the key is closed which means the circuit is complete so when the circuit is complete the current starts flowing and the current will flow from this positive end like this come here towards x flow like this from x to y and then come back at the negative end isn't it so this is the path which the current will be taking like this you can see my cursor here this is the path so let's say this is north this is north and this is south <clears throat> now i'm giving you suppose if the current flow through this conductor i told you in the last class that if you if you bring a compass near to this conductor what will happen to the compass the compass will start flicking so you can write down a uh, small uh, you know uh, mnemonics snow s n o w write it down in your notebooks snow s n o w which means when the current is flowing ha snow 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 s n o w i'm telling you I, i'll tell you what is the meaning of this this mnemonic when the current flows from south to north then the needle of the compass will flick or will move towards west yes ma'am okay now listen to this suppose if i change the terminal of the battery i invert the current i reverse the direction of the current so the current will start flowing like this look at my cursor the current goes like this then like this then like this then back to the negative terminal this is positive terminal like this comes to y from y it goes to x from x it will again come back to negative terminal if you reverse the direction of the current which means now the current is flowing from north to south then the needle will flick towards east theek okay? hai so this is just a just a general thumb rule or uh, or a short shortcut formula that i'm telling you this is a compass this is how you see a compass okay so if you see this compass there is a red pointer here so understand that this red compass will always point towards north so it will seek north it it will always show you that okay in this direction you have north okay 
so this is not a this is not a plain needle here it has got a it has got a bar magnet that's why it will always the red pointer will always show you north fine now this picture is already given and drawn in your book is exactly what i have explained to you so look at this this is a look at the b b first look at this b b picture here this is positive this is negative end of the battery okay so where is where will the current flow in which direction from the positive it will go like this then like this then like this and then it will come back to the negative end of the battery fine so where which is the conductor this brown color rod that you see here that is a, this is the conductor so now here in which direction is the current flowing look the current is going from here so the current is going from south to north current starts from south and move towards north and look at this the compass needle is flicking towards west west so when the current reverses then now the current is flowing from see the current goes like this then like this then like this so the current starts from north comes towards south the needle will flick towards east okay so look at what is this i have a bar magnet here all of you are able to see the bar magnet i have one bar magnet which is red in color okay this is a bar magnet one end of the magnet is a is a north pole the other one is a south pole okay now these black color you know these uh, powdery thing that you see here are called if you bring any any iron piece of iron very close to a bar magnet it will stick isn't it so what we do is we take this powder or bar magnet we keep the bar magnet like this on a piece of paper and we start pouring the, those iron filings on the bar magnet if you sprinkle the powder it will spread unevenly then what you have to do is you have to tap the paper when you tap the paper you will see that these iron filings will form this kind of beautiful pattern around the bar magnet you see lot of iron filings will get you know accumulated here at this end one end and similarly lot many iron filings will get accumulated at the other end also so at the two ends you will see more the powder or the iron filings will are getting accumulated here at the two ends but what do you see in the center in the center they are forming a pattern which is looking very similar to something like a concentric lines do you can you make out these lines they are they are actually forming some kind of lines like this you can also feel these lines here also away from the magnet slightly away from the magnet so close to the pole what is happening all the iron filings are are close to each other so these lines that you see are called as magnetic field lines they are called as magnetic field lines field means effect that effect if it is magnetic in nature it is called as magnetic field that effect if it is electrical in nature that's called electrical field okay field means effect and you can say magnetic effect you can say magnetic field also okay so these lines are called as magnetic field lines towards the pole they are actually close to each other magnetic field is very strong there fine the magnetic field is the strongest near the poles whether it is south pole or the north pole does not matter but it is very very strong near the poles that's why all the iron filings are very very closely packed magnetic field is not that strong in the center it is not that strong in the center but it is very strong near the poles second thing which is very important these magnetic field lines always come out of the north pole and they go inside towards the south pole okay first property look at this the magnetic field lines are directed from north pole of the magnet towards the south pole is this point understood by everyone i am reading it out again the magnetic field lines are directed directed means they move out they come they flow the magnetic field lines flow you can write flow also the magnetic field lines flow from north pole of magnet towards the south pole is this clear look at this 
all the magnetic field lines are going from the north to the south from the north to the south isn't it is this clear but what is happening inside the magnetic inside the bar magnet what is the direction of the magnetic field lines inside from south to north magnetic field lines are closed curves they form a pattern of concentric circle concentric circle or concentric lines means all those lines which have the common center these magnetic field lines are also concentric look at this and these lines are closed curves closed curves you all understand means it's a curve and it's closed they are not open yes ma'am fine look at this fourth point yes ma'am when the distance of the object from the magnet is more the strength of the magnetic field will be less any object for example let's say your your hairpin or any kind of metal you take or iron okay part piece of iron you take the more close you bring that piece of iron to the magnet the more will be the magnetic field if you take that piece of iron far then the magnetic field will not be that strong if you keep the object close to the magnet then the magnetic field will be very very strong so the fourth point is this when the distance of the object from the magnet is more the strength of the magnetic field will be less however when the distance of the object from the magnet is less then the strength of the magnetic field will be more just two more points magnetic field lines are equidistant from each other at the same distance means all these lines are at the same distance all these lines are at the same distance no two magnetic lines can ever ever intersect each other they can never ever intersect each other this is this makes a very very important question the question can be why is that two lines cannot intersect each other last point is relative strength of the magnetic field lines is given by the degree of closeness of the lines how can you how can you talk about the strength of the magnetic field lines wherever by placing an iron rod okay very good yeah you can place you can sprinkle iron filings where is the magnetic field strong here at the poles because because you can make out because of the closeness that is my next point which i have written here look at this strength of magnetic field lines is given by degree of closeness of the magnetic field lines Okay bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.